Ahoy, ahoy, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Diz Unlimited's Universal Show. I am Craig Williams. I'm joined by Rhino. Hello. And today we are going to talk about two of Universal's newest hotels, Universal Stella Nova Resort, as well as Universal Terra Luna Resort. Both of those hotels open up in 2025. Universal just did a brand new push to uh, get people excited about these hotels, and we'll see if we're excited about these two new budget-friendly hotels that will be close to the action at Epic Universe. Before we get to that, though, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content, you want to support us, book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Cost you no extra money, you get the support of one of the great Dreams Unlimited Travel agents. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free, no obligation quote. And this is also brought to you by our Patreon supporters. If you want to learn how to get exclusive content from the Diz team, head over to patreon.com slash disunlimited. Now, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you get notified when we release new videos but rhino stella nova terra nova these sound like they're space related they sure do and that's because they are of uh, course yeah. uh you know the, the blinding blinding and uh space related and i'm talking about blinding because the uh the outside of these two hotels have these reflective panels that <laughs> yeah. you uh drive past them at the right time of day <laughs> Uh, it, it will quite literally blind you. I've I've made that mistake a couple times where I look at them too directly, and I'm like, "This is it's like an eclipse mistake. Can't stare directly at it." A, a, yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna one day. I'm gonna be the first people to one of the first one of the first people to make like one of the goof videos where I'm like, "I've gone blind. What did you do? I looked at the hotels. <laughs> I thought I was safe to look at the hotels." <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not actually going to do that, though. Uh, but anyways, with these two new budget friendly hotels uh, coming to the Epic Universe area, Universal is really increasing the amount of rooms that they're going to have on property overall. Uh, each one of these hotels is coming with 750 rooms. And Ryan, if you can do math, you know what that makes? That makes 750 rooms. At each hotel? Times you, two. Yeah. That's 1,500. Sure is. Yeah. 15, as Universal would say, a total of 1,500 luminous, ultra-modern, and oh. surreal guest rooms. Now, what do you think makes it surreal? Uh, the fact that you're there and you can't believe it's finally happened. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, surreal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought so surreal to be I here. thought it was going to have like Cheerios, Frosted Flakes, uh, Fruit Loops. Cereal. Surreal. Oh, oh okay. there we go. Yeah. Uh, now, the greatest part of these two resorts, apologies for my bad jokes, they're not going to stop here. I have at least one more planned out here. Uh, these two hotels are going to be starting at $147 per night plus tax based on a stay of four nights or more. So the longer you stay, the more you save. And that, of course, is the same deal at, uh, you know, Surfside Inn and Dockside Inn, the endless summer resorts, those are even uh, even more of a value than these two hotels are. But you know what? These are going to be very close to Epic Universe. So uh, I feel like I feel like they're going to be very popular. They deserve to be a little bit more on the expensive side because of that. But uh, very, very exciting. And Ryan, which of the two are you most excited for? Stella Nova or Terra Luna? Oh, I don't know. Did I say Terra Luna? Terra Rova, I'm never going to get it right. That's Terra Luna, right. Terra Nova, Terra Luna, Terra Luna, Stella Nova. I'm well, backwards. Yeah, one's the moon, one's the sun, right? I it, Sort of idea? I can't be bothered. Okay, yeah. well, the Terra one, I think. I don't quite like the sun. I know it provides life and energy and warmth, but I'm a nighttime person. I'm a, I'm a lunar person. Okay, well, let me tell you about these hotels, and maybe I'll decide a little bit more. Uh, it's press release time, so hopefully these aren't mm. as over the top as past press releases well, either. Put on your press release pants. No, <laughs> I think those have a pleat in them as well, too. <laughs> they so sure do. Press release pants have pleats. 
Say that four times fast. Universal Stella Nova Resort is a place where guests will take off for amazing adventures at the theme parks and touch down for relaxation and recharging in between the fun. Designed to reflect the infinite vastness of the universe where galaxies spiral ever outward and unknown worlds revolve around unnamed stars, this hotel is highlighted in serene teals and calming purples to instantly put guests at ease. And I am a fan of teals not as much purples but uh definitely definitely okay with teals so i might be okay with this one how do you feel about teals uh teal i couldn't think of a joke okay uh, i can't tell you so <laughs> don't understand that one but I already sold you on Stella Nova. Let me now sell you on Terra Luna. Universal Terra Luna Resort represents another world within Universal Orlando, inviting guests to explore the unknown and step onto planets that have yet to be discovered. Here, guests will find themselves in the midst of an extraordinary landing zone within an awe-inspiring solar system accented with fresh surroundings in terrestrial greens and golds. I am going to go out on a limb here and say, while I love the entire idea and theme behind it, uh, based on the video that Universal released, as well as, you know, photos have been showing off the interior now for a little while. Uh, these these look like Universal's other uh, budget friendly hotels. Yeah. I hate that I keep using budget friendly, but I hate I also don't like calling them value and prime value. Those are those are what the categories are. But I, I just I. I, I want to make sure I really drive the point home that uh, these are, you know, no, there is no such thing as any value resort, I feel like, anymore in Orlando, because <laughs> even like these it's been some place to stay. Well, it's a, like value. I think of a hotel that's kind of, you know, not necessarily nice, a little bit run down, feels old. Uh, that doesn't describe Universal's value hotels. They are beautiful on the inside. You know, they have. I would say light theming and in, inside their hotels and the price point is at a value price point, but I don't think the experience you get is a value experience. That's why I, I prefer just saying budget friendly because you still get that, that beautiful experience with that you do at universal hotels, just at a, at a, at a better budget when, with your uh, with your hard earned money that's being thrown out for these resorts, uh, I should have mentioned it more off the top. But Stella Nova is going to be the first of these two resorts to open up on January twenty first, twenty twenty five, with Terra Luna following February twenty fifth, twenty twenty five, and uh, both of these hotels are available to book right now. So I, I watched them the video while we're talking, and I I I'm going to tell you right now, I'm more excited for the Stella. Okay, yeah. you changed your opinion. Yeah, already. I like the spacey. The other one's a little earthier, and that's why I realize. And Mike, I like the the space one. Yeah, well, uh, the Terra Luna does have fresh surroundings and terrestrial greens and golds. I mean, Terra Luna makes more. Terra is Earth. Yeah. So Earth, Luna. There I you go. I don't, Boom. Yeah. Uh, so those hotels. You want to book them now, dreams on limited travel.com. Let's talk about the food and beverage outlets that will be at these mm -hmm. hotels. Uh, the Stella Nova Resort and Terra Luna Resort offer a variety of unique dining options for guests looking to have a meal or grab a quick snack in between visits to the parks, including Cosmos Cafe and Market at Stella Nova Resort and Omega Cafe and Market at Terra Luna Resort. These are quick service restaurants that feature made to order American classics for breakfast, lunch and dinner, plus a selection of grab and go items. Um, Cosmos. Do you think that's named after Cosmos Kramer? It very well could be. It probably is. Yeah. Uh, definitely not space oriented in that way. Uh, yeah, I, you know, Universal Value Hotels always do have a, a decent sized quick service area. I'm not usually blown away by them, so I'm not going to sit here and tout about it because I feel like every time we get our hopes up for a new, uh, a new quick service restaurant at one of the value hotels, prime value hotels, we're always like, eh. It's not as good as it is on paper. What's the one where we ordered the pizza? Uh, that was <laughs> uh, Surfside. I think Surfside was. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we ordered pizza somewhere else, too. I think it, that's why I'm like, I, think I don't think it was Surfside. I think it was before that. But um, I've been Dockside as well. No, it wasn't one of those two. It was whatever opened before that, I think. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I, I I mean, I I get excited. I I, I I'm. 
I mean, I'm assuming it's all going to be modeled after Surfside and Dockside. Yeah. But yeah. I definitely would take the space ones over those. Yeah. Not because I don't like those. I just, I like spacey stuff as opposed to like, I'm not a, growing up in, uh, by the water in Massachusetts, I kind of get exhausted yeah. by not, nautical related things. Yeah. And nautical nonsense is not for you. Yeah. It's no. not something you wish. You're more of a, you're, you are, you're a space traveler versus a beach goer. A space ace more than a nautical knot. Okie dokie. Uh, there will also have a Galaxy Bar and Galaxy Grill at Stella Nova Resort and Moonrise Bar and Moonrise Grill at Terra Luna Resort, which uh, there we go. We got the moon now. Mm -hmm. So we got the earth. We got the moon from the earth to the moon to the sun to the this galaxy. Is the dawning this is of the age of Aquarius. Aquarius. The age, the of, Aquarius. age of epic universe. Let me tell you what they're going to have at these uh, these spots. Do you enjoy burgers? I sure do. They'll have them. Do you enjoy quesadillas? I sure do. They'll have them. Perfect. Salads? Yeah. They'll have them. Uh, these are walk-up service pool bars and grills. And guess what? You're not going to believe this one. They're in the pool? Yes, 21 and older can purchase cocktails, beer, and wine with a valid photo ID. I hope they do some fun cocktails for it. Like little spacey cocktails. I know it'll probably have a lot of luster dust, a lot of sugar. A lot of syrups, but I think you're right on the last two. I don't think you're necessarily right on the first one, but I would be pleasantly surprised. I think they're going to be kind of standard cocktails that you would experience at most pool bars and grills, uh, you know, frozen drinks, and they just have fun names. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see there. Uh, and then finally, where we might find some fun drinks, Nova Bar at Stella Nova Resort and Luna Bar at Terra Luna Resort. These are the hotel lobby bars that will offer specialty cocktails curated with unique ingredients along with the classics. If they don't get the Space Dust IPA. <laughs> uh, yeah, they uh, from Seattle. I can't think of the brewery's name, but it doesn't matter. You've already said Space Dust. Yeah. Now we're just wasting time with me trying to. I can even see the label. It's the Elysian. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I was like, I, I wasn't going to let it go, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I, I, I love a good lobby bar. I just hope that they're open regularly. Like, mm -hmm. not just, I hate the lobby bars that are like four o'clock to then 10 o'clock. Yeah. Like six hours. That's not enough time, especially oh, so when like, you're having fun at the parks. Yeah, I was going to say, I like it when it's like open for a post theme park visit, you yeah. know, or, or, uh, if you're staying around all day, you know, it's still like, you know, you don't have to open at like 10 a.m., but yeah, give me some, give me something before. No, I, I, and I want like it when I come to check in, I want to hang out there yeah. before the room's ready. It needs to be open at least till midnight. Yeah. That's, that's a good time for me to yeah. shut things down. I don't, I don't need any later than that. Uh, so that is your uh, bar and food options. Do you think there's going to be other amenities there, Rhino? I don't know. Probably not. Sounds like too many already. No, they have to throw in amenities because that's what Universal is all about. Making the guests feel like they are important and they get they everything amenitized. they want, they need. They're amenitized. Uh, Stella Nova Resort and Terra Luna Resort are so much more than places to sleep. Each hotel offers a variety of incredible amenities for guests to kick back and enjoy dedicated resort days just as much as theme park days. However, I think also a lot of people would be like, no, it's just a hotel to sleep. <laughs> so it's a 50-50 it's a battle. Yeah, what's, what is it? A pool? <laughs> well, <laughs> Do you want me to start the list now? Yeah. Number one, a resort style pool. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, each hotel will have a resort style pool. Uh, they feature a nearly 10,000 square foot pool with a relaxing hot tub, comfortable lounge, and tabletop seating in the pool area, a fire pit, and more. Plus, the whole family can enjoy the resort's recreational activities like poolside movies and outdoor games. Now, do you understand the scale of a 10,000 square foot pool? Yeah, it's like four houses. Well, to put it nope. into perspective, Five houses. if you can't really figure it out, so think about a one square foot area, and then multiply, you think, it. and then multiply it by ten thousand. Ten thousand of them. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's like ten thousand of that one square foot area. It's five big I'm, houses. You know, I I think that's subjective. What some people would consider a large house, other people would say, nope, that's a small house. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I, if, you, if you're going to say it's, it's the size of a house, you need to compare it to a, like a house that everyone knows the size of. Like, like a, a four-bedroom house. house. 
The White House? I have no idea how many rooms are in the White House. If it's a four-bedroom house, what if it's a two-story house versus a one-story house? The one-story house is going to have a larger footprint on that bottom floor. Not not in Florida. Yeah, absolutely it can. It absolutely can. I don't think so. I once knew a person that had a massive living room. It was like 1,800 square feet. Then their house must have been like 3,000 square feet. (laughs) Yep, they talked about it all the time. Uh, They'll have fitness centers. Guests can take advantage of complimentary state-of-the-art fitness centers, featuring a variety of strength and cardio equipment, and locker rooms with showers available for use on arrival and departure days. I know Rhino's definitely going to take advantage of those locker rooms. Uh, I wish every gym at Starship Troopers. I I, That's what I was thinking of. (laughs) Space, Starship Troopers, locker rooms. I mean, a lot of full frontal. Right there. Uh, (laughs) uh, I think all fitness centers at Universal, even like the ones at these new hotels, the other hotels, why didn't they convert them all to the Jack LaLanne ones? Like, Uh, yeah, I do like the Jack LaLanne. I feel like I want to walk in every gym and see a statue of Jack LaLanne and feel like that's my life goal. Well, they should have done this one with an astronaut. Jack like Lane Jack Lane as an astronaut. Yeah. But a 1960s astronaut, so I has to have like bubble helmet, okay. Michelin man type yeah. suit. And so he would have been a surfer at Surfside, and at Dockside he would have been wearing like boat shoes. Yeah. Like dockers like and a, boat shoes. Yeah, and like a Gilligan hat. Yeah. Like a bucket hat. So then Aventura, he would have been wearing nothing. Know, like he would a have been classy nude. suit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think yeah. that's it. Uh, then uh, what else? What, what other hotels do we have? Uh, Royal Pacific, he would just a Hawaiian shirt, I feel like. A uh, hard rock hotel, maybe a guitar. Sapphire guitar. Falls, I don't know, though. Sapphire Falls, uh, also a Hawaiian shirt, yeah. kind of. Dotson, we got Dotson there. Portofino, I feel like another, like a white linen shirt. And Dockers. He, 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 but uh, yeah, he, uh, what are the shoes that uh, Chandler loses his toe because he was wearing? Wicker shoes? Wicker shoes. Yeah, yeah. wicker shoes. That's good. So uh, we came up with that. Now we just have to pitch it to our friends at Universal Creative. And maybe we'll get, get an it idea for new off the ground one day. Hey, have you ever thought to yourself while you were at a hotel, I wish there was a game room here? Yeah. Well, these ones have them. Uh, guests of all ages can enjoy a variety of standard yeah. arcade and video games in the hotel's dedicated game rooms. Perfect. Yeah, the YouTubers hang out there. That's what I heard. Uh, that's an inside joke that will never be an outside joke. Yeah, yeah. it happened inside. It did. <laughs> uh, Ryan, have you ever been like, I wish this hotel had recreational rooms? I don't even know what those are. Well, those are <laughs> approximately 1,000 square feet of multi-purpose space for like small gatherings. Oh, like a birthday party. I, I mean, I guess you could ask them to throw a birthday party there maybe like what is it a dance studio a yoga room or? i it's for multi-purpose gatherings i guess maybe all those things are business purposes. meetings yeah uh quinceaneras uh, uh, uh mitzvahs. mitzvahs yeah bat mitzvahs yeah all the mitzvahs yeah uh i think that's about it oh. i think that's the only thing you maybe one day you just get bored and you're like you know what i want to do spend money on having a catered lunch yeah in a big big room why not? Yeah. You can do it there. Now, do you want to know what this the size and scale of a thousand square foot room is? I, I think I already know because my apartment is a thousand square feet. So <laughs> well, picture one foot. Picture one square foot times a and thousand. Times it by a thousand. Perfect. And that's that. So uh if you're really wanting to put that into perspective, I believe the uh, downstairs part of my house, that's the only part I'll let you in. <laughs> that's like about eight hundred square feet, seven hundred square feet. So you know, that's actually now that I'm thinking about it, that's not very large. No, <laughs> this is definitely for small gatherings. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, Universal Orlando Resort Stores, because you have to have a chance to be able to purchase everything from sundries and necessities to Universal Orlando merchandise to commemorate vacations. And obviously, uh, yeah, there, there's going to be theme merchandise with these hotels, just like there is at every single Universal hotel. Perfect. And I'm excited to see it. Could be space Spacey related. Stuff. I'm into it. Could Not be- Kevin Spacey, just regular space yeah i don't know how to come back from that. i don't know I, <laughs> how did he recover from it i don't think i would argue he hasn't okay yeah all right what next <laughs> that's it so that's why it was 
kind of awkward that you uh, left it in such a, a, such a bad spot. I don't know. You made a Cosmo Kramer joke earlier, too, and I felt <laughs> weird about it. Just just Cosmo. I didn't reference the actor. <laughs> the Michael. I referenced the role. Don't reference well, the actor. being a regular Michael no, Richards. No, let's, let's a special just, type we're going to just back off here. Uh, of course, when you're staying at Stella Nova Resort or Terra Luna Resort in the future or any other hotel, you can take advantage of early park admission to Volcano Bay and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Florida or Islands of Adventure up to one hour before the park opens, complimentary shuttle transportation to the theme parks and city walk, uh, charging privileges, complimentary merchandise delivery, and more. And uh, again, these hotels are going to be over by Epic Universe, so it will be a short ride away Mm -hmm. to the main campus of Universal Orlando Resort. So for those first months, uh, you know, it would be great if it was days, hours before Epic Universe opens, but let's just say months for the sake of it. If you book these hotels when they open, again, uh, Stella Nova will be opening on January 21st, 2025, with Terra Luna opening on February 25th, 2025. You book these hotels, you know, you can just hang out there. You can listen to the sounds of construction or whatever else is happening there. Uh, but you will have to have, uh, you know, you'll have to have that little bit of a ride over to uh, and the hope, current theme well, Hopefully that road is done over there at that point, because right now it's just dirt. <laughs> yeah, it'll, I mean, it's still... There's still ways to get there that will be uh, quick, easy, and efficient. So that, that's not a problem, but just keep that in mind. Once Epic Universe opens, it'll be a great hub to stay at. Uh, and I'm not trying to dissuade anyone from booking them. Absolutely. No, I want to go. And you know what? It's really, I think it's going to help out Universal a lot right now because their hotels run very busy all the time. They, they sometimes can be very hard to book. So adding 1,500 extra rooms before we even get to the third hotel over at Epic Universe opening, that's a lot of rooms. That's a lot of people that it can now, you know, Universal can now absorb even more. So very happy and excited about it. I cannot wait for these to come online in 2025. Just means that we're another step closer to Epic Universe. I mean, it's something to consider even if you're going to Disney because where those hotels are located, it's like just a step from an I-4 ramp. So it's like you're really not that far. So it's one of those where I'm like, you know, why not give it a try? Yeah. It's just one of those, like it's cheaper than any of their hotels, maybe. Maybe maybe it could be. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, to be quite honest, yes. Unless you're what the average has been lately. Unless you're like a DVC person who, you know, you're obviously your hotels when you really average it out, come out to be less over the course of time, but require a uh, multi-year contract, blah, blah, blah. We're not here for that. Uh, What we are here for, though, is saying like really wanting to drive the point home that Universal's value resorts, prime value resorts, they are still very, very nice resorts. And these two, like all we have are the concept arts to go with right now. And like all joking aside about them, I do think that the concept arts look, uh, artwork that's been released looks really intriguing. Yeah, I like the lobby. I, I it's think, really cool. yeah, if, if it's as good as Three it looks black. on paper, I think it's going to look really sleek, uh, extremely classy. Uh, it's not over... It's not overstating the the space theme. Like you're not walking into the Galactic Star Cruiser where you feel like you're actually on a spaceship. Uh, and it's just it's keeping that theme across while also realizing that this is a functioning hotel and that is its purpose first and foremost. And I think I think it's going to look beautiful. I mean, a Surfside and Dockside, I feel like they've still held up. Uh, you know the They've held up that level of standard since they've opened. They still are very clean inside. Uh, They haven't looked at all run down. Same thing goes with Aventura and Cabana Bay. You know, again, well, Cabana Bay just celebrated 10 years. So it's, mm. I, you know, I think, I think if you made an argument for one hotel needing a little bit of a, you know, a little extra care here and there, it would be Cabana Bay. But these hotels, you know, they, they hold up over the years. And I mean, obviously, if you're staying in the, tower at cabana bay that overlooks volcano bay that's a complete different subject because that's still you know that still feels so new but uh i these hotels are going to be great for years and i can't wait to get inside them one day yeah it looks cool yeah and if it's a better budget they're better price than what it is down the road at disney consider it i mean it's if you have an annual pass over at walt disney world you already get your parking paid for so just have that car drive over get in get out, go back to Universal, and hopefully those food courts 
are decent. <laughs> if not, you are located with some good restaurants around you in that spot of Orlando, so you're fine. Yeah, uh, not far away. There's a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, there's a Dairy Queen. Uh, there's a Sonic. <laughs> there's a Sonic. Uh, just don't go there expecting Eclipse glasses. Not that you'll need them. There's a not first watch years. right there now, though, which is nice because I like that place. And uh, there's a faux place that's really good, and there's a bunch of yeah, there's other another, places. And there's another hot, uh, hot noodle, or sorry, what is it? Hot, hot pot, hot pot, yeah. <laughs> but and then there's another hot pot place, and it's then quite a bit of another hot, pot hot places, yeah. <laughs> as we like to refer to it, the hot pot district, <laughs> because you can't go about ten yards without finding another hot pot place. But all it's hot here, right now, it's <laughs> hot pots. They're hot. <laughs> they're hot. They're in a pot. Yeah, they're hot pots. This has been brought to you by the Hot Pot Council. Okay, that's it for us talking about the Hot Pot Pod. A Hot Pot Pod. The Hot Pot Pod. The Hot Pot it, Pod. The Hot Pot Pod. Yeah. It probably already exists. We can't come up. You can't come up with anything new these days. But what you can do is you can book a yes, vacation. Yes, a new resort. You can't. Uh, you can book a vacation uh, for stays at Stella. <laughs> Nova Resort and Terra Luna Resort for 2025. And if you want to do that and support us at the same time, book it through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Uh, if you want more exclusive content from Rhino and myself, head over to patreon.com slash disunlimited. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, video suggestions in the comment section. And if you are listening to this, subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and leave us ratings and reviews when possible. But that's it for this episode talking about the new hotels coming to the Epic Universe area. All very exciting. Rhino, thanks for joining me. Thank you. And thank you everyone yes, out there thank you. for taking the time to listen and watch. We do appreciate it. And we'll see you again real soon on a new episode of Diz Unlimited's Universal Show. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Remember, we finally changed the name. Bye.